the living machine. Organs are parts of our body which can do a particular work. Human being is also a living machine. Machines have different parts that work together to produce something. People also have different parts that perform special work. For example, legs which help us to walk. Types of organs There are two types of organs, external organs and internal organs. Organs situated on the outside of the body and can be seen by us are called the external organs, whereas the organs which are located inside, which we cannot see, are called the internal organs. External organs are arms, legs, eyes, etc., whereas the internal organs are brain, lungs, liver, etc. These organs we cannot see. Organ system A group of organs working together to do a common work is called an organ system. For example, digestive system, skeletal system, muscular system, respiratory system, circulatory system, nervous system, excretory system, and the reproductive system. We will first begin with the skeletal system. Human body has 206 bones. All these are joined together to form the skeleton. The skeleton gives shape and support to our body. Bones helps us to stand, walk and move. They also protect the internal organs of our body. At the time of birth, baby has 300 bones. Later, they fuse together to form 206 bones. The muscular system The fleshy part under our skin is made up of muscles. All our muscles form the muscular system. Muscles are attached to the bones and helps them to move. Muscles give movement to different parts of our body. Now we will talk about the digestive system. The digestive system helps to break the food that we eat into a simple form. Digestion starts in the mouth. Food is broken down into small pieces by chewing with the help of the teeth. Food is mixed with the juice called saliva in the mouth. Later food goes through the food pipe or esophagus to the stomach. In the stomach, food mixes with digestive juices. Then it goes to the small intestine in which useful part is taken in by the blood. Undigested food passes from small intestine to large intestine and there it is thrown out through anus. Now we will learn about the respiratory system. Organs which work together to form the respiratory system are nose, windpipe and lungs. These helps us to breathe air. Through nose, air goes down through the windpipe and then into the lungs. Lungs are pair of balloon like structure which get filled up with the air when we breathe in. Air we breathe has a gas called oxygen. The lungs take in oxygen and send it to different parts of the body through the blood. The air we breathe out is impure and it contains a gas called carbon dioxide. The circulatory system. Blood is a red colored liquid that transports gases and nutrients throughout the body. 
the heart pumps the blood to all the parts of the body through the thin tubes called blood vessels. The Nervous System Nerves carry messages to and from the brain. They control all our actions. The eyes, ears, nose, tongue and the skin are our sense organs. Sense organs are connected to the brain through the nerves. When our sense organs feels any sensation, the nerves attached with these organs send messages to the brain. Then the brain identifies different types of messages and makes us understand what we see, hear, smell, taste and touch. Nerves are like telephone lines. The excretory system the excretory system helps in removing the waste from our body. For example, kidneys remove urine, skin removes sweat, large intestine removes solid waste, and lungs remove carbon dioxide. The reproductive system helps to produce babies.